Hi everybody, so welcome to my bathroom once again. I am here with Stacy, my favorite makeup artist. She was working at MAC for the longest time and she always did the most amazing job on my makeup. So now she is going to be freelancing, which is super exciting. She's been doing freelance for a long time, but now she's 100% just freelancing. So if you have something special that you're going to, a wedding, a big party, you have a large group of people or just yourself, she can come to your home and make you beautiful. So right now you're getting to see me loveliness without any makeup and she is going to transform me right now and teach you how to do it as well. So if you're ready, here we go. All right, perfect. Let's do it. All right. So I'm basically just going to start by priming you first. Um, basically the whole face. I like to do that before um, so that everything kind of penetrates and sets in and the face isn't soaking wet when I go to town. And I did that in my last tutorial. I believe primer is the most important thing to start mm -hmm. your makeup off. Absolutely. And I'm going to use a, a 24 hour primer actually. It's uh, my favorite thing because it literally doesn't move at all. And is this by MAC? 99% mm -hmm. of my products is all MAC um, because it's the best. So I'm basically going to start with the eyes first. I usually do that so that we don't get any fallout onto the face once the face makeup's done. That way it's just easy and you can kind of just wipe it off. Because a lot of times, especially if I do like a big deep smoky eye, it gets all like down here. So I'll just prime you from lash to brow. And this is clear so it doesn't, doesn't have a color. And then I'm going to spray you down a little bit. So go ahead and close for me. That's kind of just settles the face before we go to town and kind of uh, any, any redness or irritation, it kind of settles all that. All right, so let's do it. So I usually do the crease first. That way it kind of gives me um, a direction to go to. The dimension of the eye is kind of set up and ready to roll, and then I just do everything around that. So I like to use a color that's maybe a little bit warmer than an actual skin color. But you already have like an amazing crease open for me. So when you're at home, I usually will tilt my chin up just a little bit and look directly into the mirror so that you can see your crease right there. But your crease is amazing. So I'm, I don't really have to concentrate a whole lot. So I'm just gonna stick to the outside. And you can already see almost immediately that the eye kind of takes this shape on in like this new dimension. And if you really totally wanted to be lazy, you could just leave it like that and go. That way you at least have something. Mm. I miss doing your eyes. Yay! Me too. Mm. I can't wait. <laughs> it's been so long. I need to do something fun after this. It is Sunday afternoon. I'm not sure, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh. Okay. So this particular color is saddle. I can be 99% of the time I use this just because it's literally the perfect color. I do love saddle. Saddle by MAC. It is a great color. It's like the best. You can never go wrong with it. And it kind of looks um, deceiving, like on the unit, like in the store. It like, kind of looks super orangey, even though it is. But, um, like, but it doesn't really come off that way necessarily. It's just perfect. It kind of marries all the colors together perfectly. And that's what you want when you want it to have like super, super flawless. Put it open for me. Perfect. Let's do, let's do a little bit of this. So Stacy, we decided we were going to do something pretty, pretty much an everyday look for mm -hmm. this video today. But of course, keeping it slightly edgy for me. Exactly. We're still going to go your style. Um, I'm so I'm still going to keep it like pretty warm on the outside, but just because it's like an everyday, I'll kind of keep it lighter on the inside. So all I'm doing now is I just went with this is what I'm using Broom right now. It's also by Mac, and I'm taking the same brush and just patting it right on the outside of the eye. I'm not being fancy or, or anything with it. Just get it on and you can always move it later. And I'm not going above your crease just so that you're not going super dark, really high up. I'll just pat it on. Skin looks amazing. Okay, so you can kind of see it's just on. And then now we can go back and kind of melt everything together. I usually like to switch on my brush this time. So I have a clean brush 
with very little to no color on it. And all I'm doing is just kind of melting everything together. And I usually make sure that my hand is to the back of the, the brushes. You can feel like my pressure is different when my, when my hand is at the forefront of the brush and when it's back here. That all just depends on if you want it blended, you usually want to hold it to the back of the brush. If you want to actually move the color, you can hold it at the beginning of the brush and it will, the pressure will move your color differently. Mm. See, those are the little tips that we all need. Mm -hmm. It definitely makes a difference. All right, go ahead and close for me. I'm going to give you a little bit of love right on the lid. This is a pressed pigment, um, literally my favorite thing. I use this with my fingers just because the warmth of my fingers kind of keeps the color on better versus using a brush. And just for like our day, kind of day look, I'm just gonna keep it right on the lid. Mm, my goodness. And this is super easy to transform into night with this actual product. So just by applying more. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go underneath. I love it. I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. I know. I'm excited. I love this color. I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to go with a little bit of the same broom that we used before. And then go ahead and follow it the ceiling for me. And I'm going to stay on kind of the outside of the eye. And because you like your, your makeup on the darker side, I'm going to bring it all the way in. If you didn't want your makeup super dramatic, then keep it all more on the outside of the eye. The further in you bring it, the more dramatic that it's gonna be. So that means bring it all the way in for so me. So that means take it all the way. <laughs> all right. And then now we're just gonna go on our liner because we're gonna smudge that baby. So I like to do, um, my, my favorite is black liner. Me too. <laughs> All right, how am I looking? Better, still no foundation. <laughs> Your skin is so pretty. So I'm gonna have you look up to the ceiling for me and I'm gonna run some eyeliner right on the inside watermark. So I kind of just gently pull down and run it all the way back and forth. Get it nice and black. And I'm not trying to be perfect with this because I'm going to take my brush and smudge it anyway. So you can kind of be messy. All right. Switch to a little baby, little baby nub brush. So I call it. I call it for me. And now I'm going to go right on the lash line where that liner is, and just run it back and forth. So this is what's going to smudge your um, liner to not only give you a smoky eye, but it also helps prevent it from running because now everything that was going to run is now on your brush. So this kind of cleans that up and prevents it from getting all over your face. Mm. What do you think? Am I looking better? Better already? <laughs> let's do the top. Actually, let's wipe it. This is exactly why I don't do the foundation first and the palette to some. So that I can just take these guys and wipe you, wipe you down. Perfect. So nice easy makeup wipe. So the Neutrogena sells them. I think Dove sells them. They have five million different ones. Mac sells their own brand. So get yourself some makeup wipes. Definitely. Comes in handy. For so sure. I'm going to jump to the top. And um, I love to use Black Track, which is like a gel base liner. So it's easy a gel to liner. On. Yep. Uh, stays on. I just use it with a little little baby brush. This is a 210 from Mac. But um it's nice and tiny and you can't really mess it up because it's so small. You get lots of control with the gel liner. Totally. And for people who have, oh, close to me, people who are just starting out, the best way really to do this is to start on the outside edge. The reason being is wherever you put your brush first, it's going to be the most amount of product. And so majority of the time you want that to be on the outside so it's a little, so it's not too thick on the inside. And you do halfway first. I'm going to flip my brush around and meet that. So you kind of just break it up into segments. So it's not overwhelming trying to do one big crazy line on the eye and then trying to make it even on the other eye. Mm -hmm. 
them to open for me. And then just with your eyes, just look down this way. I'm going to bring your chin up just a little bit. And then down this way. Oops, sorry. Okay. Beautiful. So for you who like liner and myself, who likes a lot of liner, you can do this as thick or as thin as you want. Obviously, the further in you go, same thing with the shadow, the more dramatic it's going to be. The further out you take it, the less dramatic it's going to be. We're going to go one more side on this other side. Go ahead and look at down this way for me. And of course, I like dramatic. Yeah, so we're going to go everyday, but everyday makeup, but your style for sure. Perfect. So I'm going to switch back to my little, my little nub brush and then go back into, you know what? Yeah, let's use the original color we've been using, the broom. And right where the eyeliner ended, I'm just going to tap this there so that it doesn't have like this stagnant stop and it blends right into the, the smoky eye. Just tap it. And open for me. Yeah. And I'm going to take my little fluffy guy again and go right underneath and go ahead and line it up. Right, let's do this. Just to kind of blend everything out again. It's all about the blending. Mm. Okay, we're gonna take a little break on the eyeball. I'm gonna go up to your eyebrows. Another very important spot. <laughs> <laughs> so important. And I use, um, switch this side. I use powder for the most part. It really just depends on your brow hair and also like how dramatic and not dramatic that you want it. You have finer brown hair, so powder will be just fine, but um, it's just a softer look. So if you choose to use pencil, that's fine. You just would probably be a little bit lighter handed with it, like you wouldn't be quite as so heavy handed. Also too, it totally depends on the event. Some days I have stronger brows than others. Like at nighttime, I usually do my brows stronger. But since this is an everyday, then I'm gonna go lighter. I usually will come to the bottom of the brow and just all I'm doing is just drawing a line, just tracing your brow. Then I come to the top and do the same exact thing. You already have amazing brows, so it makes it super easy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you'll feel me kind of just almost tapping, so it's like a stamping motion, so that again, you don't have to feel overwhelmed by trying to do this big line and trying to get it even and pretty. Just stamp it on. A little stamp, stamp, stamp. And you know who does great brows is um, Benefit Bar at mm -hmm. Ulta. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. They have girls doing eyebrows all day long there, every single day. It's inexpensive. You can walk in. I've heard amazing things about that. It is. It's so awesome and so easy. And your brows are so important. So don't forget about them. Brows are the most important. And the reason why I, I do kind of I stop moving the eyes and then jump to the brows is because the way that you put your brow on will determine the look of your makeup. And again, like if you do a stronger brow, your look is going to be stronger. And since we're doing kind of a daytime, like more casual look, I'm, my brows are going to be determined by that. So it's going to be lighter. And then I'll go back on the eyes if I have to and kind of coordinate them together. Mm. Your brows are so red. Nothing better than good brows. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just tapping, kind of stamping it on. Now we're just making sure that they're even. Yeah, we don't want to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> What's that movie with Jennifer Aniston and uh, <laughs> she? I'm trying to think of the movie, but they just go with it. Thank you. And uh, she has the really funky eyebrows. Oh, <laughs> one's up man. there and one's down here. And that's all you can see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's at a plastic surgeon's office trying to fix it. <laughs> so, you don't, a lot of times people think they have to highlight under their brow. It's giving you just kind of like the, the white under there, which I usually do, but you don't have to. 
Um, I use concealer lately, actually. It's a little less powdery looking, and it defines the brow. So, I'm taking my concealer and go with like a, a flat brush. Let's start in the highest part of the brow. So right underneath the arch. And I'm just kind of fanning it out a little bit. I don't do the whole thing, really, because it's a little bit more old school. I just kind of go with the highest part so that it kind of creates this look of like a lifted brow. Mm. And it's already it's such a dramatic time. difference. Voila! And then we're going to go right into our original color that we very first started with, Saddle. And I'm just going to go back one more time and kind of blend that out a little bit. So you can keep your eyes open. And I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and blended. And like I said, you have an amazing crease already. So I don't really have to do a whole lot there. Well, thanks. Um, You're so nice. Just kind of making sure it's all blended and fancy. I highly recommend getting Saddle to use with whatever makeup you already have in your collection. Get it, use it, use it as your crease for pretty much any look you do. It's really a great one. Great for blending all your colors, like mm -hmm. Stacy said. So we're gonna put lashes on you, but I do um, like to put a little mascara before the lashes. Me too. Perfect. We're totally on the same page. Um, well, I learned from the best. So. <laughs> <laughs> Would you probably lay down for me? Uh, you don't have to be particular with this, really, since we're just going to stick lashes on anyway, but it does kind of marry them together when, when you do put them on. Just tap it in there. All right, let's put some lashes on. And this will make a big difference also. Oh, well, you know how I feel about lashes. Yes. I love them. <laughs> and I do have a tutorial on how to put your eyelashes on, although Stacy's going to show us a little bit too, but if you want that really step-by-step, -step, here, but she's gonna do it right here too, so. This is, um, I use a, a ton of different brands of lashes. I, I really don't have, I love red cherries, those are my favorite, but this because they're super what light. Brand? Red cherry. Oh, I haven't heard of red cherry. They're, um, they're amazing. You can get them almost anywhere. Um, they sell them at kind of just random clothing shops, and then they sell them at like wig shops, and that's where I get them. But yeah. they're, the band is super light, so you don't have to worry about it being so heavy and then not sticking mm -hmm. and like bending off. Do you ever notice like when you put it on, it starts to bend off like right at the curvature of your mm -hmm. eye? Red cherry, you guys, red cherry. Keep, keep that in mind. <laughs> so all I do. And what about glue? What's your favorite glue? Duo is what I use. Yeah. I like the black one personally the mm -hmm. best, but um, I have the light one now, but I like, I like the black one. Okay, this is interesting. She's using the bottom of her makeup brush. Mm -hmm. Just to stick it on. That That's way I'm idea. not really touching that part either. That's a great idea. And um, I just kind of fan it for a couple minutes. That's the most important thing is making sure that it's, it's dry. dry or like tacky. If you go straight in, it's never going to stick and you're going to be all over the place. So I just kind of let it dry. And um, again, some areas are going to dry faster than others. So I just go back and tap and make sure that at least it's everywhere. Genius. And it's ready to roll. So go ahead and I have them look down. And like when you're at home, it's probably easier to do the same thing I was telling the beginning, like kind of tilt your chin up and look, look into the mirror. So your lashes or your lids are down, but you can still see. So, but since I'm doing that on you, you can look all the way down. And I usually will stick the end on first and just kind of walk it around. You want to look down that one for me? I'm going to go right under the eye. So easy, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Totally. Just stick it on. It's all about getting it to be tacky. Yep. Then it will stick right on for you. Put that on first. And then look down this way. Also cool about wearing black liner is if you mess this part up, you don't really see it as much because your liner is underneath it and it's dark anyway. That's what I don't the best. I'm like, oh. I agree. Well, that'd be perfect because you can't even tell. That's perfect. Those yeah, are amazing. Yeah. I'll let those dry for a little bit and then once, like, once they're dry, I like to go over the band one more time. Me too. And then I'll bury it. Do you ever put mascara back up in there? 
I bit. typically don't. Yeah, you, you can't. You don't. You, you can. can. You don't have to. Well, I'll tell you what. If I'm going to go out for the night and I want them to be amazing, 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 mm -hmm. I do. But typically, then you get mascara on the lashes. Yes. Then you can't really reuse yeah. your lashes. Exactly. So if you're trying to get longevity out of your lashes, don't go back over it with mascara. Would you agree with that? Yeah, totally, hundred yeah. percent. Mm -hmm. But for a one night where you just want to rock it, yep. mascara it up. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I, love I love it. So I'm gonna leave the eyes alone, let those settle and dry, and kind of you know get used to it. Like I know you're used to it, but I'm gonna go on the face and primer face. Um, this is the same thing we did with the eyes, but face face primer, and this helps everything look amazing and flawless. Helps with any texture, gives you some moisture, and your makeup will always look like crap if you don't take care of your skin. So that's the best part is taking care of your skin and priming it, and then your makeup will look even better. I agree. It's so fun getting your makeup done. Oh my gosh, isn't it? I'm never on that side, but when I am, it's so fun. I know. I never am it either anymore. <laughs> I know, this is so fun. It's been so long since I've done that. So, do you, do you like the fuller coverage um, yes. foundation? That's what I figured. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to put, since it's going to be like everyday casual kind of thing, I'm going to go with Max Master, which is one of my favorites. It's from, it's from MAC. Um, it actually matches itself, the technology of the way that it's made. So you've heard from like the, the drugstore brand, like True Match, it matches itself, all this. This is the same technology. Cool. So it looks like nothing, but you are perfectly flawless. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. It's, not, it's my favorite. I wear it every day. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So what's it called? MAC what? It's called Match Master. Match Master mm -hmm. by MAC. So when you go in, if they go in to go get it, is the, are there colors to it still? Mm -hmm. there, they do range in colors and they're not going to be the typical like NWNC like MAC has with their right. other products. Um, so you would want to get rematched entirely because it is a totally different technology. The colors are different. But if you go get a tan, let's say, it's mm -hmm. still going to coordinate with your skin. It will, yeah. I mean, to a certain degree, but right. yes. Yeah, like I'm, the color that I'm putting on you is um, 3.0. And I can wear it too, and you and I are totally different skin tones mm -hmm. and colors. Granted, I have a little bit, well, I will get a little bit more of a tanner hue out of it, but it won't look muddy and dirty and right. like it's just too dark. Mm, I love it. So I literally just kind of, this is a flatter foundation brush, and I like to use this because it shears it out a little bit. Meaning, not that I'm trying to get sheer because I know I want full coverage, but um, it kind of allows me to paint it on like this that you feel me tapping mm -hmm. and buff it out and it doesn't have um like you don't you're not seeing clumps of makeup on the face you have a little bit more control and then again i'm gonna take it down here just a little bit so we're not texturally different either obviously we don't want to line but mm, so pretty let's go on the forehead how do your eyes feel okay yeah perfect i'm just excited to see it I oh, know, it's, it's so cute. Right? You're going to have to find somewhere to go or do after this, though. Is you going to be like, ready to go? I may have to make another video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, right? That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Just a little tiny bit more. And some people don't like to use like this big brush that I'm using, like it's almost like a paddle brush. I have smaller ones. And sometimes people feel like a little bit more controlled with this. Mm -hmm. I personally like the big guy to get in there and just go to town. Yeah, I think I'd like the big one. Well, you, you all know me. More <laughs> is more, bigger is better. <laughs> that is so true. So true. Just kind of tap it out, make sure you're nice and blended. And then I'm going to go underneath the eye with a little bit of concealer. Perfect. This I do use a small brush for, and I, I go fluffy with this one. The reason why is because it kind of, again, you don't want to have clumps of makeup all mm -hmm. over the place. And you could do flat too, it's totally personal preference. Look out there for me. I like to do it um, with the fluffy because it, it buffs it and allows me to almost clean up underneath the eye also. Sometimes I feel like if I use a flat one, I get like, it almost like poking me. So while we're under here and concealing, which this concealer is amazing, it's the Prolong Wear Concealer. Totally waterproof. It's water resistant, I guess, but um, 
Oh, it's long, it's long wear. It's amazing. You can totally cry. You go swimming and this stuff will not come off. Gotta like that. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're going to a wedding or something like that where you are gonna cry probably. It's so perfect. I use this on my brides all the time. I cry at everything, so. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'm like, thank you for waterproof makeup. <laughs> and also, everybody's always wondering how I teach aerobics and my makeup stays flawless. So. I was wondering the same thing. It was like, your makeup always looks amazing and you can just teach all workout classes all day and just look flawless. Is that what you use as the waterproof I, stuff? Or? I, well, I think the primer helps a of, lot. Of course, yeah, the primer will definitely help. But definitely on the concealer, yeah. And definitely um, waterproof liner. Mm-hmm. Remember that tutorial that you did, I, I believe, and you you were showing the liner with that little, it, like almost like a diagonal gel felt tip. tip. Yeah. I love that. Oh my gosh, see? I'm uh, so glad I wouldn't have that. that. <laughs> That's what I have on today because I, I love it. It's so fast and amazing. Isn't it? So yeah. it's basically the gel pot that you use with the brush, but it's in the thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna think. So it's glad exactly. You. Oh my god, it's so good. I tell everybody about it. It's so amazing. <laughs> was like, I am so glad Stacey <laughs> Master likes it. I <laughs> I love it. I couldn't even get over it. I was like, oh okay, that's interesting. I was like, oh, I've probably seen something like that before. It's totally different with that that tip. It, so it just makes it really quick and easy. Mm -hmm. And as if you want it just for your purse, throw it in your purse, and yep. boy, that stuff doesn't go anywhere. It does not go anywhere. Nope. I'm just gonna powder you a little bit. I don't want to take you super. Powdery. Tell me too, yeah. Um, I know that they say that the older you get, since Stacy, you haven't gotten to do my makeup in a while. The older you get, the more dewy you want to be, the less powder you want. So yeah. I, I have been using a lot less powder. So is Good. that true? So yeah. I mean, it's gonna be different with everybody. It depends on your skin type. Is gonna be the most important thing. Um, if you're oily, powder is definitely your jam because you know you want to be able to soak up that shine and oil. If you're dry um, or you or you're textured. Um, you probably do want to stay away from powder. I mean, your skin is flawless, so I feel like if you put powder on, you're, it's not going to really affect you a whole, whole lot. However, the dewy look is very, it's natural, and it's pretty, and it's look, it's flawless, and it makes it look like your skin is better taken care of, I personally think. But again, it's going to be... Wow. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's personal I, preference. I do use it, though. Okay, after class, mm -hmm. I find myself to be a bit shiny. My eyeshadow and everything is perfect, so then mm -hmm. I will go in. Just with a little powder. I don't go back in with foundation or anything. I'll just powder it up a little bit. That's totally, and that's exactly what I just did, is I just put, I just tapped you, kind of. I didn't go under the eyes or anything, and I just kind of tapped so you're not shiny in your T-zone, which is most of the time where people get shiny. Yeah. This is when you just don't look greasy. And right. then, like I said, I just tapped it on, so I'm not grinding it in there or anything like that. This guy is a little bit of bronzer. We all mm. like to contour. Yeah. So this is actually just a loose powder, but you can use press too. Um, I'm going to go right into your cheekbones. I usually roll the thumb this come to the top of the ear and down. Mm -hmm. So um, your cheekbones are amazing too, so I don't really have to do a whole lot. I'm just going to put it right on top. And it's really important when you go to bronze or contour that you're going down the rest of your face so you don't look like you're just dirty or like having a scrape on your face. <laughs> so, I kind of start on the back. Make it look like a Halloween costume. Yeah, exactly. Halloween makeup. Yeah. It's not theatrical, so. And again, this contouring is going to be totally different um, depending on where you're going, what your event is. If it's just day to day, I usually keep it pretty natural. Okay, so I'm going to go highlight now. Um, oh, good. Show me what highlighter you're using. I'm um, kind of like in between highlighters right now. Why? Like what do you use? Um, I bought a Becca one mm -hmm. that's a little too shiny for me. Okay. And that's going to be totally personal preference too. Some people don't like the shine and that's fine. I like shine, but I'm not sure how shiny. Yeah, you don't want it to make it look like you went to Claire's and like have <laughs> glitter on your face. So you know what I mean? That's always the worst or like super, super like white and bright right. around it. This one, I'm just using soft, soft and gentle, it's not, oh, that's pretty. it's, I use a bigger brush. You can use a small brush, like something like this or. See, but then it's too intense, right? Right. That's why, that's why I'm not going to use that. This, the bigger brush, the fluffier the brush, the less product will go on the face. True. So since we don't like a whole lot, we don't so want maybe a whole lot. So maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah, maybe just swish your brush up just a little bit. And you can also wet these too. So if you did want it intense, you can just kind of spray your brush. 
I'm just tapping. Spray your brush with like a water bottle spray? Yeah, you can use like Wet a distilled down. water. I use the Fix Plus personally, just because it, I like the spray aspect and just go shh, or, you know, if it's my own personal product, I'll spray right into here mm. or on the cap. Mm. And let's put a little blush on because that's the best part. That kind of finishes everything too. Pulls it all together. It does. So I use a matte brush or matte blush when I do the shimmer of the highlighting. Mm -hmm. That way we're not shimmering everywhere. Right, I agree. Let's do a little bit of blush on there. And this is my motion with blush. I literally just run it across all of them. <laughs> and then right where you smile, this top there, and Nike swoosh it up. Very key, the Nike swoosh. Start on mm -hmm. the apple of the cheek and mm -hmm. swoosh it up. Make that swoosh, and Stacy was the one that taught me that. I went to her one day and I said, I really just never know quite how to do my blush. <laughs> and she's literally like, just like, uh, uh, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. And it is, it's perfect. Perfect. Let's do, let's put your lip on now. So I'm going to use a lip liner that is very natural, it's a 12 hour wear. So I'm just going to fill the whole lip in with it. And normally, I do your lipstick first, and then I will line just to perfect everything. But in this case, I'm just going to fill it on all of your crayon. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But now you'll have the color all day. Perfect. And I'm going to stick my favorite gloss right over it so it's super quick and fast. This, I love that. This is Love Nectar, also by MAC. It's like a gold kind of pink hue. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it, but not a lot of color. So that's why I put it over the lip liner. Tap it together for me. And that is it. That's beautiful. So that is it for today. Again, this is Stacy, and I love her, love her, love her of all the makeup artists I've ever met. She is my very favorite, and she can come to your house and do your makeup for any event that you have. If you have a big party or a little party or just yourself, make sure you give her a call, and I'm going to make her write down every single thing that she used today, so if there's something you feel that you have to get, you can go on in to Mac and get that and also her information, her phone number, and everything else. So if you've got something coming up for the holidays and you need to get your makeup done and look amazing, she is your gal. So I hope you all have a great day. Stacy. thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And we'll see y'all soon. Have a Bye. great day. Bye.